Hey guys, it's Jar here, and we are back at Pottermore. We're gonna do the one ceremony, and then join your Ivermore house. So let's do the one ceremony. Let's just begin the experience. So I gotta answer as honestly as possible, which I always do. To ensure we will find the perfect one for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions. Honest. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, short, or tall? I would describe myself as average height. Because in the area I'm, in, I'm kind of average. My eyes are hazel. Yeah, hazel. Cool. Was What was the day you were born? 28th, so it was an even day. Do you most pride yourself on kindness? Optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, originality. I want to say kindness. Traveling alone down a desert road, you reach a crossroad. Do you continue left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, or right towards the castle? Probably to. It depends between the forest and the sea because the sea is more scenic, stuff like that, but I love a forest. But I'd probably be more scared if I'm physically driving alone by myself, so the sea. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, or heights? I guess heights out of all those, because I don't fear the rest. In a chest of magical artifacts, would you choose a mirror, a dusty bottle, a golden key, a silver dagger, a bound scroll, glitter jewelry, black glove? Probably the scroll. And my one is... Oh, hasn't loaded yet. That's okay. I didn't want my one to come anyway. Let's let's see if it will load. And my one is Hey, cherry wood with a unicorn hair cord, ten and three quarters inches, and a slightly yielding flexibility. You want us chosen? You spread the word. That's a fancy looking one. A unicorn hair cord. More? Can I look at more about the one? That would be swell. Cherry, yeah. So cherry, this very rare, very rare one would creates a wand of strange power, most highly prized by wizarding students of the school of Makador. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. In Japan, where those who own cherry ones have special pre prestige, the Western one purchaser should inspire for their minds any notion in their pink blossom of the living tree making a previous or merely ornament one. The cherry wood often makes a one that possesses truly lethal power. Whatever the core, but it is teamed with a dragon heartstring. The one out never be teamed the one out never to be teamed with a wizard without exceptional self control and strength of mind. Oh, that's so nice. Unicorn. Unicorn hair generally produces the most consistent magic and is the least subject to flotation fluctuation and blockage. Ones with unicorn cores are generally the most difficult to turn to the dark arts. They are the most faithful of all ones and usually remain strongly attached to their first owner, irrespect irrespective of whether he or she was accomplished wizard or witch. Minor disadvantage of unicorn hair as they do not make the most powerful ones, although the one would make comprehend like mine does, and they are prone to Melodically is seriously mishappen, meaning the hair may die and may need replacing. So ten and three quarters in length, the following note on the one length are taken by the notes of the subject by Mr. Olivando, wood one maker. Most ones will be in the range between nine and fourteen inches. While I have solid, extremely short ones, eight inches or under, and very long long ones, fifteen inches or over, these are exceptionally rare. In the latter case, a physical peculiar demands the excessive one length. However, abnormally short ones usually select those in whose wizard characters something is lacking rather because they are physically undersized. Many small witches and wizards have chosen longer ones. So I got that because I'm average height. Slightly yielding flexibility. One flexibility or rigiding de denotes the degree of adaptability and willingness to change possession by the wand and owner pair. Though, although, again, the factor out 
not to be considered separately from the one wood core and length, nor the owner's life experience and style of magic, which all combines the one into a questionably unique. Hey, so you get to learn a bit more about my wand, which is pretty cool, actually. I love that one. Can I save that image? Because that's a pretty, pretty neat photo. Alright. Let's do, we have one more sorting thing to go. We have my sort and discover your house. So let's do that. Let's begin the experience. Do you prefer remember experience? I prefer... I personally prefer experiences because I know I won't be able to remember them. A soulmate is out there somewhere, an illusion, a psychic twin, strong where I'm weak, weak when I'm strong. I think they're out there somewhere, it's just trying to find them. My magic is inborn, in need of work, unique, powerful. I'm going to say unique because I love the word unique. Think of a question you would most like answered by a person or an all-known being or, or device. Which following mostly close represents the answer you, you like to hear? Without a shadow of a doubt, never, very soon, it is, imp it is impossible, yes, I will show you everything, only if you agree, if you come with me, no I didn't, you are, yes you may, only once, if you want to, forever, not for many years. I think if you want to. Where would you least like to find yourself? Where would you least like to find you? In prison alone in a silent dungeon, lodged in a crowded cage, standing room only? Yeah, probably that one. In a dock in a court, accused of crime you did not commit. On a deck of a ship, nah. Trapped in the Atlantic, and the attic of a house burning below you. On a rope bridge, fraying on the river canyon, lost in a forest. Um, probably crowd. Because I'm like my own introvert self. What judgment do you fear most? Nobody's, my own, my friends, my family, the world, and histories. I'm going to say my own. Because that's the worst fear. Well, not my worst, but. My best idea, get me into trouble, aren't appreciated enough, have changed my life, have gone to waste. I'm going to say they've changed my life. You can rescue a baby or the one bottle to put. You can rescue a baby or the only bottle of potion that could save a thousand lives. Ooh, the baby at the bottle might. Wait. Oh, because that could. Yeah, it might save a thousand lives. Or the bottle. The chance of saving a thousand lives is too important to miss. I'm going to have to go with the baby because that's going to take more. Horn, horn Serpent. Congratulations, you've been sorted into Horn Serpent. I feel like, yeah, a thousand lives, we don't even know if they're going to be saved, and it's just kind of, I don't know. Named by Iso Sayaf, sorry if I said that wrong, after the great Hornet River Serpent that has a jewel set in its forehead, Horn Serpent's house is something considered to be represent the mind of a wizard or a witch. It is also said Hornet's favourite scholars. Cool. I guess. So... That is all the sorting stuff to do on um, Pottermore. If that's all of them, let me double check. So quick recap, we had Hufflepuff is my house. West Highland Terrier is my Patronus. Cherry Wood with a unicorn hair core, 10 and 3 quarter inch and slightly yielding flexibility is my wand. And my ivory house is, ivory moor house is a horn serpent. So that's everything on the I was going to say Pottermore. The Pottermore page. If you like this, let me in the comments below. Tell me if I should do some more quizzes about myself. And maybe we'll see if there's others. I know there's Quotative, which I've done before. But this is fun to do occasionally. Just like to relax my mind. Not focus too much on like, oh, I have to get this done. When I'm in year 12, this is kind of a nice relaxing therapeutic time. So this is great. Anyway, Jarrett says in the next video, sarcasm out. And let's bring it in for various guys at home. Bye-bye. See ya. Oh, I wish I had that one. I wish I had that one though. It looks pretty damn cool. Guess what?